Oh my god, I need a better webcam. This one sucks. All right, I'm gonna show you how to make transparent backgrounds. Let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna leave a link in the description uh, for Pixlr. We're using it again because it's free. Okay, so I'm just gonna use the full HD one because it's just the standard 1920 by 1080. So if you, if you, if you're doing this because you want to make a thumbnail or something, like sick. 1920 by 1080 is like your man. Okay, take this knuckles for example. Save image. I'm gonna freaking save it into my normal pictures folder. See, now you've opened up a new one. It's already transparent background, all right? That's what these sort of, I don't know, checkered background sort of indicates that it's, there's nothing there. So you're gonna go to layer, add images layer. Okay, there's our knuckles. All right, so this bit's easy. So you're gonna go over here, make sure this one select is selected. Okay, make sure that the layer is selected as well. And you're gonna hold shift and then left click on the white background. Okay, and then you're just gonna press backspace. That is it. Okay, now I know you're gonna have like, say, some dude put a watermark on the bottom, but that's no B, because, okay, so just go deselect, so right click deselect, and you're gonna go over here and just go to the eraser, and you just go over it. Bam. Gorn skis. And there you go. Transparent picture. Done. And then all you have to do is go save, tile it, whatever you want. Yep, sick. Make sure it's a PNG. Download. And there you have it. Okay, just to show you that it's transparent background, um, I'm gonna open it. Add images layer. And you can do this on anything. Like, you can grab this photo and drop it onto whatever. Hold on, I gotta find it. Jesus. There we go. Sick. There he is. So you can grab him. He's fully transparent. Size him up. Although, yeah, just remember, so free transform is where you can sort of like really do some weird stretchy shit with it. And that that is it. That is for like this really, really simple dumbed down version of how to make a transparent background. There's a more complex way to, for like more complex photos. Okay, so say for like more complex photos, if you want to like cut things out and stick them onto like, I don't know, backdrops of other things. Again, just go layer, add images layer. Drop this bad boy on the transparent background that you've already selected. By the way, Master Chief's armor, on point. 343 did a mad job on this. Now this sucks, okay? Say if like, so you go wand, bam. It's fucking shit, okay? You're not gonna be able to cut that out using the wand. Now this is where it gets a bit compl complicated with like photos like this. And how well it comes out is dependent upon how patient you are to actually take the time, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to quickly do it. So you're going to deselect this, and you're going to go to this, the lasso select. You want to make sure you have uh, polygon selected. Okay, so this way you can literally cut him out to how you want. So seeing that this is like the bottom of the um, picture, we're going to go right across to say about here. Okay, this is going to be shit because I'm just going to do an example. You're literally cutting him out of the photo and you're deleting the back. But yeah, just keep in mind to like, how it turns out is how patient you are and willing to take the time to actually, you know, do like the fine edges. So Pix has also added like, you can now actually zoom in for like the finer details. Before that wasn't a thing. Like if you zoomed in, you screwed it up bad. Also do not double click like really fast. Otherwise you'll lose it. It'll sort of, it, I think it like resets it. Wow, you can actually zoom right into this. I think I'm like cutting a bit of the helmet off, but you'll get the idea like once it's finished. Yeah, there's a bit like YouTubers out there that make thumbnails that look amazing using just this technique. Okay, so as you get to the end, so you've cut all around here, um, to finalize it, you just need to rejoin it where you started. Bam, done. Okay, and you'll see how it sort of, um, you know, it's sort of highlighted where you've traced around. Okay, so if you make a mistake, you can't undo it, okay? So you gotta make sure you take your time and really make sure you're because there's, there's no take backs, like you got to redo the whole thing again if you stuff it up. So once you've done and you, you're happy with what the end result is, go up to edit and then cut. Boom skis. Okay, so see this layer? You're going to just right click it and then just delete layer. Just yeet it the hell out of there. And then now you've already cut him out, remember? So you can just go up to here uh, to edit and then paste. Bam. So you can shrink him down size, expand, whatever, but... That's how you like cut out like more complex images. Uh, from there, if you want to add him to anything, so just what I do is make him however big you want him. So you can stretch him out later on. If you need to adjust him to like any other photos. Let's go file, 
uh, and just save them. And then, whatever again. I'm lazy, I can't, all, half my files look like that. Um, I'm just gonna open like the same background as I had like in the last video. There we go, all right. So say you got your picture you wanna like drop him onto for a thumbnail or whatever you want. Um, add Im images layer again. Where did I save him? I always do this. There we go. Sick, and there you have it. That is it. Easy peasy. If you missed my last video, it was how to make your own custom text. Um, I'll leave a link in that in the description below as well. Leave a like, subscribe for more. My channel is mainly a gaming channel. Um, however, we'll do little tutorials here and there on like stuff like this. Also, I've got a Twitch. Link in the description below. I stream Monday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And on Wednesdays as well, 7.30 to late. So with that, if this helps, let me know. Any questions, let me know. And with all that done, happy editing.